So it's the last push. And we've got one more to fit before Christmas. We've fitted three. We've got this laminate one, the grey at the back. We don't do my laminate much. There's a set of drawers for it. There's all the sides. And we're just waiting on um, adjustable shelf peg sleeves. We, we realise as we're drilling out, um, it's chipping, um, you know, with the adjustable shelf peg holes, it's chipping the laminate. So what we're doing is we're going for sleeves. So we drill the holes and then we'll knock the sleeves in for the pegs to sit in, but waiting for those sleeves to turn up before we know the drill bit size. So that's got to go in the van a bit later today for a Monday fitting that rubbish there and what shot what John's doing at the moment we've got we've got two wardrobes it's one job it's a lot it's a angled wardrobe and a bedroom wardrobe uh, John is just denibbing so he's going over with the oddball sander on this whole pile here stack there four drawers there all those doors there couple there and what else have we got these doors here as well that's what John's doing at the moment I mean it's not something we're gonna get done before Christmas this job but while we got John here um, we might as well get some stuff done because it's gonna be a push to get things done in January um, also Sean is on the birch, so this is a four meter tall by two meter wide by 300 mil deep bookshelf, all birch, uh, white Osmo oil going on it as the finish. So we're doing the old stacking, stacking technique where we just stack all materials up. Um, Stu's P40 in the end. Nah, just 60. 60, 60 120, 240. Yeah, 60, 120, 240. Yeah, because. And we're using a new supplier now for our materials where they cut it up for us and their cuts are absolutely amazing. Most stuff they give to us is S um, CNC'd out of a panel. Unfortunately, these birch panels aren't, they use for the table saw, but you still get really good cuts. But we need to get all the roughness out because anything, any roughness we don't get out, you'll see through the oil. So we're getting on with that. Um, there's not much to this one, to be honest. There's this pile here and this pile here we've got no backings because in their house they've got a nice featured panel wall which is going to sit in front of so yeah again we're not getting this done before christmas but we are just getting things done because sean got this whole wardrobe machined in literally a day which is great it was already pre-edged for us we're just running out of time we got the old um suppliers to edge it for us cut it to size what else have we got? Um, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, drawers as well. And they've had their rudders screwed onto the sides already. You can see the bottom of the drawer here. That was the way we make a rebate at the bottom. Um, we glue, pin, and reinforce with screws um, for our backings. And we use seven mil laminate or six mil MDF for our back. Uh, bottoms not backings and I think that the good thing about using laminate which I've sort of picked up on is it's so tough and hard wearing when you go on site to fit there's no touch-ups you just clean it with a bit of glass cleaner and it comes up beautifully it's really hard wearing and whereas all our MDF painted interiors is you know you've got to wear gloves we go through like two boxes of gloves every fitting bloody day just to keep the job clean and it's near enough impossible to get to the job without any touch-ups and because our sprayer gives such a crisp finish any touch-ups that you do do um, you do notice them so you've got to be really careful with the old paintbrush when you touch up um, but yeah we're on full four we're on full um, full but yeah we're on full speed at the moment getting loads done which is great I'm not going to get time to clean up the workshop. We've got so many offcuts lying around. Big pile of mess at the bottom here. Um, let's go through here. So all that laminate that you saw, 
all the grey, that stuff and that stuff, that's the interior. And all the interior, sorry, all that laminate was the interior. So all the grey that you can see here, the laminate, that's all the interior, backing, sides, division, shelves. And what I'm just getting on with at the moment, this job needs to be loaded up, like I said, today. Um, the laminate will get loaded in the van today, but I'm still painting. Just had this space heater on and it's absolutely baking in here. It's like tropical rainforest in here, it's baking. But you can see all the doors here, all shaker, shaker doors. So we got a side panel and one, two, three, four, five, uh, six doors there. These two are just for another job and a few trims, these three, these three trims. So yesterday I got two coats on the underside. Um, well, they were primed first and they've just had, um, yesterday they had the two coats just to finish them off, so three coats. And today I've got two coats on the face, so that's three on the front as well. But I want to give the front another coat, seeing as I've got time and I'm not going to put them in the van till Sunday. Um, they can have another coat and just sit in here, get baked for the day, then Saturday and Sunday part of Sunday they could be in a cold spray room just hardening and everything else all the laminate that I just told you about and all the tools would be ready in the van ready just for me just to put these in for a six o'clock start in South London uh, yeah it's brilliant you can see I've got all my space back it's fantastic I love it look how big this space is and over the past two or three weeks we've had four large jobs in here a couple of different colors all different components maybe 100 150 pieces lying around um we're not really using the rack that i've got on the wall here can you see the twin slot um pieces i usually have long 600 mil um brackets coming off those with some timber on the top of my backings but i found that when i spray a backing i can literally just take it off and lean it up against something it just works they dry in 10 minutes and then before you know it you can just stack them up on top of each other and get them out of the way my racks aren't really getting used all my small pieces like i said john is on those at the moment all the priming so apart from that we're doing really well getting on with work nice and clean and tidy in here which is how i like it just a shame about the workshop side of things got to get back on that that's not going to get done till january most likely uh but it's mad how much you accumulate all these off cuts all these strips and you can see up there there's a whole there's four packets of six mil strips 70 mil wide for our shakering so we got the supplies cut 100 up for us so we're ready uh to shake the doors tons of off cuts over here well, what can you do with them? There's only so much you can store and keep. Um, yeah. But all going well. Hopefully we'll stick to our schedule of Monday, Tuesday finish. Um, and with a bit of luck I might get a video out or a couple of pictures out of the job complete. So stay tuned guys. Hope you're all doing well. And I will speak to you hopefully before Christmas. Take it easy. Happy Christmas. Ciao for now.